once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up! It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... That's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the wolf bros. Nobody can tear us apart. Nobody. Right? Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied... The evil Chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop. Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way.
I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool. Hmm. Now what the hell is that? Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Anyway, what I was saying is, Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's, um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can 
deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. Oh, shit. How? Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Excuse me. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Looking at this place. I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. 
Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. Hey, Sean. What were you... Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. I don't know. It kind of helps me focus. Get a better grip. Do you... feel it? Like... What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out! Okay, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it! That child is... <laughs> something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of... Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this.
Now, let's throw on that spider. Totally. <laughs> Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? Sean is about to show you, Daniel. Keep watching. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. There you go. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. You're too far from the original. Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. Sweet! Okay, Earth out. See, Sean. Hey, nope, nope, no, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. You got it. Don't break the earth, just put it there softly. Watch this. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with... The spider on top. Summon the spider queen. Check it out. <laughs> hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Sweet. Yo. Can you turn that, that, uh, spider thingy around? There he goes! <laughs> Activate Pancake Head. Watch this. Just like half a turn. See, Sean. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Check it out. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kinda like this. 
Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes! And you can build whatever you want in it! Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious Patriot, shrouded in dust. Lurid politics. She yeah, ain't you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. No matter what happened before. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Now that's some real patriots. <laughs> Super Wolf. I read Terrence last time. Lo Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? <laughs> Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Hoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Nice mash up the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. 
I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Warm. Guess people came here You're with here. ease and never left. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on, dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> This is such a weird fucking place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Hey. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills.
Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Hope my crops will make it. Looks like they all finally found their home. Is that a new statue? <laughs> that woman is amazing. <sighs> I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here for too long. It feels... disconnected. Maybe I'm too young. <laughs> oh, I understand. It's not a starting point. It's more a place to sit back and... let go. Well, 
Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom! You walk too fast! More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. 
You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. 
So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry. You had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. <sighs> Should go see what David wants now. Old school bottle opener alert. I'm gonna take care of you, little buddy.
We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Come in, Daniel. What's your location? Still at Joanne. Okay, we'll go. Let's check you out last time. Mm, I don't know. Come on. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So. What do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky. Especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two babies. Me too. It's the first time I use my power to actually build something. I usually just have fun destroying stuff with it. Hey, don't worry. 
I'm sure we'll get another chance to work together. Once you're settled. Yeah. I hope so. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. You'll be fine in Mexico. Okay. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. <sighs> yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys... Ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. Hey, don't forget to see David. I will. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but. Go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done.
Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Definitely not. Another classic from... That's all I'm saying, folks. But mm. back to our caller. Doesn't sound like cops. Climb it. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rocks FM. Hooking you up all day long with mm. Don't think so. Keep scanning. Wait, is this it? Uh, Sam's? <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Ten four, I'm... <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now... You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way, and I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean... I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But 
I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. boys stay safe this hurts bye everybody
Hey. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Um, as long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Dude, it's just a giant fence, except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean! Why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well... You know... It's a border, man. Is... Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks.
That water must be a hundred degrees. But it's way better than nothing. Wow. People really just leave stuff for the immigrants? I hope I can pay this forward. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. To uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it. Oh. Oh. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel, talk to me! Not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, uh, uh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well? Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. 
you're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. That was not us! We have no idea how it happened! Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! D don't move! Ugh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh -oh. uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. What the hell is Ugh, wrong with these this people? This place is fucking gross. Seriously. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Saben 
¿Cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Los Estados Unidos no es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino, encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation. And we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. El odio no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale nada. Fuck you, you wetback. You what, and your what girlfriend. What the fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, 
You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Don't you know how dangerous it is out here? <sighs> Shit. Is it morning already? Why Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. I'm how am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Of course not. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Shut up. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Why am I in here? How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel Shit. so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then, you join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do, but denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did 
was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Hey! Hey! This is Juan, bullshit! We gotta go! Get us out of here! It's good enough. It's good enough. Juan! Who are these people? Well... Carla and Diego. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in a hospital? You assholes deserve a lesson. You know that? Oh yeah, and you deserve to be on this side of the bars. So time for payback. What do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off! Don't mess with this kid, I mean it! Oh, oh shit! Miss Neil! That's what they get. Miss Neil! Assholes. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it! Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. Oh, of course. That's what he gets, right? Well... We... He's up for the count. Okay, oh, hands up! shit! Don't oh, move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop him. Them. The muck, dude. We will shoot if we need to. What's going Understand? on? Understand? Should I take care of this? Fire extinguisher. Fuck! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything this stupid, This is our last kid. warning. Put your guns down. Please! Shot! Ah! 
Sean! Hey, uh, you, you all right? I'm, I'm used to it. I'm okay. Idiots. They should have known better. Yeah. You saved our asses. Now, oh, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. There's probably more of them coming! Let's go! Look at that. Climb Central. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel! Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go! Go! Let's roll, Daniel. Hurry, Sean! Drive! Whew. No, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all-point bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say!
You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano. Like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. Be careful. We can go now. Yeah, let's go home.